Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna show you guys something real quick or pending and be quick. I'm just gonna transfer my data from my new Animal Crossing Switch, don't be too, too jealous, to my old Switch or the other way around. Don't know English, which is why I'm gonna select as my language. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna obviously set up your first Switch just to be ready. You accept the agreements I never read and I'm gonna have to be connected to the internet. So you're gonna have to pause the video here. So after putting on your internet connection, you just wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. So Cool. So we're not going to connect to a TV because that's not important right now. We have to, unfortunately, do our Joy-Con thingies. Sorry guys, I'm afraid of the screen. Touching my own screen. Alrighty, cool. I'm just going to do this. Just showing me all that fun stuff. So we're going to, right here, when you get to this selection, it'll say import user or create new user. We're going to import user data. Uh, do you still have a console? Uh, do you still have the console with the user? Yes, of course. Obviously, we won't be doing it. Will you keep the pre using uh, the previous console in addition to this one? Here, I'm gonna select no, because in reality, why would you use two switches? So from here, it just gives you everything you can find from online on the Nintendo site. Wirelessly transferring one data, it'll transfer user and save data will be deleted from the original console. So once we get from that, uh, software, you don't get from the transfer, you only get them by downloading from the eShop. That's just basically, just look at that color, the eShop. So we're gonna hit transfer. So this is gonna be the source console. First we update, because both consoles need to be up to date at its most uh, most recent firmware or it will not work. I don't know, oh, okay. Classic Nintendo download. We're gonna be here all day now. Okay, cool. Do the joy cons for the other switch? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're gonna be like, ah, you know, joy cons are plugged in. Can't transfer. Perfect. Okay, so now it's gonna say add, we're gonna be back at the same page. Get our joy cons re sync. So we're gonna import. It's gonna tell us the same thing. Do you still have the other console? Yes. Are you gonna use it? No. Okay, so next, so we're back at the same step. We're gonna hit transfer. So from now, we're gonna go to our old console. All right, so you wanna sign into your Nintendo account, the one you're going to be using. So probably the one from your old account. So we're gonna sign in real quick and we'll be right back. Wait, thanks for using your kitten account. Uh, but, <laughs> douche. Now, uh, so it says kitten X33 will be transferred to this console. Please ready the console from which it will be transferred. So from here, we wanna go to our main console right here. And we're gonna be like, oh, okay. Uh, yoink, we go to the system settings, and you want to go down to where it should be users. Whoops, that's it. All right, there's transfer your user data. All right, so we go here, hit next, next. It's gonna ask us which console this is gonna be. We're saying this is the source console, so we select that, and we'll be transferring kitten. All right, this following will be, so your user information and save data will be going to the new console. And from here, it's gonna be popping up soon enough. All right, so it says source console has been found on your other switch. So select transfer on the source console and now it'll appear in here, so we select transfer. Yeah, you'll see it on both. You have no idea how long the process takes, really depends on your save data information and all that. Again, remember the games you want do come from, hey, there's me. Uh, uh, the games you do want, you have to re-download off the eShop. This is only transferring your user data and your save data. Done, it'll just say on the uh, old switch, it'll say user information, save data has been transferred for kitten. I'm gonna click end there. It'll say finishing on the original console from here. So once that's done, it'll just say it was transferred. So we click end. Oops, sorry, my joy cons are uh, asleep. There we go, so we click end. So now, if we want to add another user, so additional users can be added to this console. This is just if you have multiple people at your house, you can always add these later. Doesn't really matter. So we'll skip that for now. And this is just for motion. We'll skip that and boom. Now your switch should be good to go. So we're gonna go just to double check. We'll just check our settings from here and just make sure that actually we lost some data. There you go. As you can see, there wasn't as much free space. Our user's right here. And I'm gonna have to obviously, uh, regular stuff you have to do is you have to update your, uh, you're gonna have to update your Joy-Cons instead of this. If we go to 
uh, Kitten's page. It should have all the information still there. So 565 hours of Smash, Jack Party Box was first played, all this. So all your information, uh, your save data from each game. So one thing though is like, let's say Shovel Knight. We don't have that on our Switch anymore. So what we want to do is you want to go to the eShop now. And if it was successful, it'll say we already purchased and bought the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a uh, Jack Party Box. All right, we'll grab Smash Bros. Because I didn't realize that you had a digital. So we'll grab Smash Bros. Uh -huh. So Smash Bros is right here. See, as it already says purchased, everything already is already purchased. So this just is the, I don't know, boop. <laughs> The re-download, obviously. So start re-download, it's gonna happen from here. And when it's done, it'll be done. From here, you wanna get every other game you used to have on your cart on your original console, it'll just be fine. And that's it. All right guys, if there's any other questions, you know, please write in the comments, we'll look to help you out. Kitten is not on the original console no more, which, you know, if, you, if you're gonna sell this, you wanna go to your system, and you just wanna format it. So you just go to your system data from here, and you wanna go all the way down where it would be here, system, and then I believe somewhere around here you could format it. I don't remember exactly. Or this new label, auto update, formatting. So there you would delete your whole Switch if you're looking to sell it on eBay or you know the GameStop or something like that. I wouldn't recommend doing it until confirming you have everything on your original Switch. But that's it for the, this video, guys. Remember, any questions, just write in the comments. Appreciate, comment, like, share, subscribe, etc., etc. 